Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our off-grid homestead here in North Idaho. Today, check out what we're going to be working on. We are going to start attaching the stairs to the deck up here. They're going to come down, and these posts, or these uh, concrete things right here, are where the first post is going to go that supports it. If you've seen some of our earlier videos, you know that we're not really confident about that concrete. I'm not sure that it's set up properly. It was a really cold day and a lot of rain. So I don't know, but check out our stair stringers. Jules stained these guys all up, sealed them, water sealed them. Do something kind of crazy. Drive all night with you right next to me. Feel the pounding of your heart When we get up high, we won't look down. So they should be good to go. We've got the first stringer just kind of set in place. I have just a couple of screws holding it here just to hold it in place where it goes. And we're running it down here. It's setting down there on the concrete post. And so we'll measure it up and make sure that it's square with the deck in the house. And then we can see exactly where we need to put our post and that bracket that's gonna hold it into the concrete. We got these mounting brackets right here. We went for the fancy ones because they'll just look cool. We got some screws and bolts, hardware type stuff. We've got the, uh, the plate that actually goes on the concrete. These are some fancy washer, nut closure things. Plates go like that. Yeah, like that. We're gonna use this just for setting it up and uh, Basically, it's gonna go like that. All right, we're gonna test, just test fit this guy, set it in here, and see where we need to drill our hole into the concrete. Uh-oh, it's gonna hang off the edge. Oh, well, pretty much just like that, huh? Both hands, nice and hard. Really? Yep. <sighs> oh, there we go. I think we got it down. It should, should kind of tear one way kind of easy. Really? Yeah, like a crescent roll thing. There we go. <laughs> I presently struggle with this. That's what it should go the other way. Tony Horton says. Because you're peeling up. Uh, this way. Yep. Then it's going to go down. We've got the post in the bracket, just setting where we want it. It's split right down the middle here. Right, this is our line right here where we want the edge of the post to be. And so it's set perfectly where we want it. 
Now we're gonna get the uh, drill. We'll drill the hole down so we can get the bolt in there. And uh, this is where we're actually gonna see, I think, if the concrete is strong enough, if it will hold that bolt. If not, then we're gonna have problems. We're gonna be using the bulldog here to drill our holes and we've got a 5 8 inch, um, like a redhead. I guess we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna have to go pretty much all the way down in there to get this bolt in. And uh, yeah, gonna make sure we drill it straight, straight and deep. We're gonna be drilling with the power of the sun, baby. If you don't know, we are off grid here and pretty much everything we tried to do, we tried to do with our solar power. Sometimes we gotta run the generator, but today we're drilling with the power of the sun. Okay, so we got this guy set. Take this out, go ahead and mark our hole. Yeah, that looks good. see blew out the hole with compressed air and now uh we're gonna go ahead and pound this bolt in there and hopefully we don't crack it or break it somehow we may definitely don't want to pound it in there too far so we'll go ahead and stick this on there just to see we could go a little bit a little bit lower here that might be good nut and bolt using a crescent wrench because i didn't have the right size socket i'd have to dig it out it's not often that you need a 15 16 socket so we're just doing it with the wrench all right so these guys are eight feet we want our handrail to be at about 38 inches high we got 10 inches from the mounting plate up to where the tread's going to be. So we're going to cut these guys in half, four feet. And then later, when we put the actual handrail on, we'll cut it at the right angle and all that. Look at that. That's like perfect almost. <laughs> it came out really good. <laughs> My skills must be improving. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put this side down because it's um, the treated side and the other one's gonna have the railing on top of it anyway. So it's gonna have to be cut again. We're gonna have to drill a hole in the bottom here a little bit to uh, make room for that nut. So we'll just put it in here uh, get it right where we want it. Then we'll hit it with the hammer and mark it. Then we can drill it out. One more time. Perfect. Look at that little round divot right there. I bet that'll be enough right there. Let's go see. We got the post in and all mounted up. I will show you how that all goes together when we do this post. That one's just really tight back there. So we got the we got the post in and all mounted up, screwed in. I will show you how that all like goes together because it's kind of unique on this one here because uh, it's too tight back there to like really film good. I'm gonna go put the hanger up on this one. We'll have one done. All right, so this is the main mounting plate. Then you've got these other ones that fit in here, like, like this. And there's bolts that go with them as well. I'll show you that later. But basically, it's gonna go, it's gonna go like this. Hmm. Gotta move over this 
thing is holding it up a little bit more, Jules. All right, so we got her set right where we want it. Be just like this. Then uh, we go ahead and take this out. And then we can mark our spot right here, right where we're gonna drill. Yep, right in the center of that hole. The heat of the commotion, and that's okay. Cause we're in motion, I can feel the sway. There's nothing to fear, my friend, no, no. It's the natural road And when the ground is shaking, in the thunder roar, I wouldn't worry. Just a storm I just let my body pour To the natural rattle So unwind the dawn on Jules hit it with the hammer again So you can see we got a little indent right there Or just a little bit more there we go. How do I do it? Don't look at our messy tool shed. No, don't look. <laughs> so we have these. They're kind of like a big washer. They look like a big nut, but that's just for decoration, really. They're actually a really big washer with a decorative cover. And so these guys are going to come out and take the back side of your screw bit. And that comes out. So that's a big washer right there. Let's go ahead and get all four of these guys ready. Then you have this pack of screws and bolts here. So these big wood screws here actually go into here like that. And we'll screw it into the side. Then these will hold the plate into the bracket. I'll show you that when we get to it though. All right, so we've got our screw and washer right there. Let's take it. And I mean, it's really simple, pretty self-explanatory. here put it on the back of a back of a screw bit there you go all right then you take these bolts right here and they go in here and they're gonna bolt this vertical plate to the base the natural vibrating in a small the natural ride Well, I'm marking where we're gonna put the put the deck screws at. One and a half inches in, so we're gonna put them. We're putting one tread on, then we can put the center one, and we can screw it down, and it'll hold it in place till we get everything else done. So we got the middle stringer in and it's just being held up right now really by two screws. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple more treads in here. A two and a smidge. That's the technical term. That's the technical <laughs> term, two and a smidge. Smidge. <laughs> Back at it another day here, guys. Jules is.
What you working on, Jules? <laughs> I'm putting on the treads for our stairs. Cool. Yeah, my fingers are freezing. I bet. <laughs> it's not a snowy day, guys. It was it was warmer earlier. Now we're at about 32 degrees today. We may get some snow later. But we've got some of the treads done right here. And Jules is going to continue up the ground for that center post, which would go right around over here. I'm going to check it out, but it's... uh. It's rock solid. So depending on if we can get through that first part that's frozen, uh, we might be able to get those posts in. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to temporarily support the center until spring when we can actually dig down into the dirt. Whoa, hey. Hmm. That's the jam popsicle. Jules is making good progress going up the stairs. Almost there, more than halfway. And I've gotten the holes dug for the sensor supports here. Two feet deep down. Actually, that's the footer right there for the garage. And uh, some of you guys that live in different parts of the country, uh, I noticed we're a little bit confused about the frost line. So the frost line here where we are is 24 inches so two feet down is plenty deep also interesting fact which some of you probably already know the exposed dirt out here and over there is frozen solid like probably three to four inches down it was frozen solid so i'd use the pick and like pick through it and then once i got through the frozen part it was easy to dig it after that but right here where it was all covered with snow like this i thought that was a mistake just to leave that snow piled up there but it turns out actually it was a good thing all of this dirt right here is not even frozen at all there was water underneath that snow and so that snow works as a good insulator for keeping your stuff from freezing so deep so that's a good thing to know. If you're concerned about something heaving, bury it in snow. And every fall has a rise, every burn has a flame. From foolish to wise, we all bruise the same. are a little bouncy but we'll be putting a center support in we got to get the actual lumber for that we got some of the concrete poured in the rebar in there for that right now look at the deck that's beautiful that cool? so beautiful i love how it turned out we're gonna fasten down the decking right now it's really wet up here but we want to start being able to use this and so later once it dries out we'll come back and we'll take the decking up and we'll actually put a sealer on the floor joists, probably some uh, like black tape that you'd normally put around windows and stuff to um, to protect those from rotting. But for right now, this winter, it's gonna just be just be the decking. So those are just spacer nails. We're just spacing them out a little bit, make sure that the water and snow when it melts can go down through them easily. They'll probably shrink up, and um, the spaces will get bigger as time goes on. But for right now. We're gonna have small spaces. It's a
We got our post marked right here. This is actually 73 and a half inches from the bottom. It's gonna be level with these two posts over here. And so what we're doing, so we don't have to hold it up there while we're trying to mount it, is we're making a little, uh, we're using this little block and we're gonna put it right here like this. And then we can hook it up there. We don't have to hold it up because like we did the other ones, we're going to build the, um, the forms up to where we want it to be. There you go. Yeah. It's a <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah, that works yeah. good. So hold it up there. We got this piece of uh, two by four pressure treated and we're going to attach it here to help add some additional support to the center uh, stringer here. It's not up ahead, it's right in front of us, it's happening, now it begins. We're using hot water instead of cold. So hopefully the concrete will set up a lot better. We used warm water yesterday and uh, that concrete set up a lot better than earlier attempts. So today hopefully it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. 